Hey guys, Lumbergrat here, and uh, today I'm gonna be doing a uh, a tier list. Now I attempted to do these exact tier lists that I'm about to do, like two years ago. Um, but unfortunately, hold on, let me. There's a thing up here that keeps annoying me. <laughs> um, but I couldn't I couldn't upload them. Because every time I tried to record them properly, it didn't work. So, now that I actually can, um, we're gonna, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna get it done. Um, <clears throat> so, today, we're gonna be, uh, ranking on our list here. We're gonna be ranking anime protagonists. Um, these are... Uh, a lot of these are shonen protagonists, but not all of them are. So that's why it's not shonen protagonists, it's just anime protagonists in general. Um, but for our roster here, you can see we have Goku, Yami Yugi, uh, Ichigo Kurosaki, Naruto Uzumaki. We have um, Izuku Midoriya or Deku. We've got Toriko, we've got Jotaro Kujo, we've got Light Yagami, um, we've got your boy Mob, we've got um, Aaron Yeager, and we've got Meliodas all up in a row here. We're just going to go down the line and rank them. Now, so basically how I'm ranking these guys is it's a mixture. Um... It, I'm ranking them by how much, one, I like them, and two, how strong I think they are. Um, and I'm not using the universal, like, anime scale, like, uh, world destruction, universe destruction. I'm not using that. I'm just using what I think is the best for what we're going to do here. So... Uh, we might as well just get started. Um, first, we got Goku. Goku, right off the bat, Goku, he's uh, he's going to A tier. He's got to. Um, it's it's just Goku. You can't <laughs> you can't you can't not have him in the highest tier basically because he's so strong and he's so iconic. And he's always the one that everyone brings up for fights. Like, oh, but could he beat Goku, though? Could he beat Goku? And of course, he couldn't fucking beat Goku. Well, some of them, some of them would be able to, but... <laughs> Most of the time, they can't. And that's why they bring up Goku in the first place. To just shut down everything. Um, but yeah, Goku. Gotta be an A tier. Uh, Yami Yugi. Uh, you might know by now, I I'm I love Yu-Gi-Oh. It's it's great. I love it. So Yami Yugi, um, I'm going to put him as a B tier, uh, just because his his pure plot armor bullshit <laughs> when it comes to certain things in the game are just ridiculous, and uh, it's like how would you even how could you? If you try to play him in a card game, you're pretty much fucked. Um, any game, really, actually, since he's the king of games. But, yeah, if you try you try anything, you're pretty much screwed. So, he's B tier. Uh, Ichigo, uh, Bleach, pretty good. Um, I'm going to put Ichigo... I'm going to put Ichigo at a B uh, just because... I don't think he would be strong enough to contend with A tiers. Um, <clears throat> uh, oh yeah, uh, by the way, uh, every character that's on this list, aside from Toriko, I've watched their entire series, so I know everything about them, I know what they do, I know all that. Toriko is the only one that I haven't really watched religiously. Um... So, he's the one I have the least information about. Um, but, being with the familiarity I have with these these characters, I think Ichigo could rest comfortably at a B. Maybe, like, B.5, if that was a thing. 
Um, just under uh, the A tier, uh, just because even with his hollow forms, I'm not sure he would be able to fight people in A tier. Um, Naruto, um, Naruto Uzuma, uh, Uzumaki, um, he's a tough one, uh, he'd have to be in either A or B tier, um, so I have to, like, think, so if it was Naruto versus Goku, for the example, I feel like Naruto could fight Goku, but I don't know who would win. So, I do think Naruto is definitely an A tier in this this whole situation here. Um, just because of all, all the boosts of power with all his transformations and his basically unlimited chakra. <laughs> um, I, I, really, I really can't really see him being below anything uh, under B. Um, uh, Deku here, um, Deku is not very strong, at least not currently, from what I've seen. I haven't read the manga for My Hero Academia, but I have watched all of the anime religiously. <laughs> um, so, <clears throat> I think I'm going to put Deku. Huh. I think Deku can rest at C tier. I don't really want to put him at D tier because I feel like that's slightly harsh. Um, <clears throat> because he is starting to get a little bit close to All Might when it comes to power. So, uh, he's not God tier, obviously. But I do think C is a pretty good place for Deku right now. Okay, so I just added a new character <clears throat> to the roster because I forgot. Um, kind of completely forgot about him somehow, even though I love the show. We have Saitama down here from One Punch Man. So he is now on the roster as well. Um, One Punch Man, great. I loved it. I know everyone was uh, angry, um, well, a lot of people were angry about the animation studio change for One Punch Man. Um, it didn't bother me too much. The only thing that really bothered me in particular was Genos um, with his shininess. It looked a little too shiny. I didn't really like it, um, but other than that, everything else was pretty similar, so I didn't really care that much. Um, Toriko. So, everyone knows by now that Toriko was pretty much an instant failure when it comes to manga and anime. He was supposed to be one of the big uh, shonen protagonists. Um, he was being promoted. He had crossovers with uh, One Piece and Dragon Ball. And even after that, people don't really know Toriko. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I'm going to have to put Toriko in um, probably like E tier. Because no one knows him. Uh, he's not great. <laughs> he's just going to have to sort of sit down. He's the lowest we've got so far. Uh, Jotaro Kujo. Again, I have watched and read the entirety of Jojo so far. I keep up to date on the manga because I love it. Um, I'm going to be doing a tier list for all the Joe stars later on. Um, but uh, Jotaro Kujo, I chose him specifically because he's the most iconic. He's not my favorite Joe star, mind you. Um, he's in my top. My top three Joe stars, obviously, but he's not my favorite. Um, so I, I chose Jotaro because part three is like the most well known part worldwide. Um, Jotaro, I feel like Jotaro, 
even though I like him a lot, he's it's pretty much impossible to put Jotaro in anything above C tier. Um, sure, if you're counting end of part three or part four or even part six, you know, he could stop time, but I think I'm just going to have to put him at a C because of fighting capability alone. I, f I feel like that's fair. Put him at Deku's level there. I feel like him and Deku could probably fight a little bit. Um, uh, next, Light Yagami. Hands down, Light Yagami is really awesome. <laughs> I mean, Death Note is personally my favorite anime out of all the animes that I've watched. Death Note just happens to stay at the top. I just love the whole psychological warfare and everything of that show, and I just love it. The manga art is beautiful. Um, Light. Uh, I love him a lot, obviously, from my favorite anime. But fighting-wise, he doesn't fight anybody. <laughs> um, he's he's not a fighter. He's, he's a thinker. So, unfortunately, Light is going to have to be... Um, on E tier as well, because he he doesn't. You know what? I don't want to have to do this to him, but he's gonna have to go to F tier because he doesn't fight. Uh, I don't. Can I get rid of G tier? Yes. I don't need G tier. I don't count G tier. So unfortunately, Light is at the very bottom. Um. It, it kind of sucks, because, you know, I like him a lot, but he doesn't fight. He he uses the Death Note, and that's that's kind of his thing. So, he's going to have to be at F. Um, Mob, or Shigeo from Mob Psycho. Love that show. It's great. Uh, the art style, <laughs> uh, the comedy is great. Um, I love uh, comedy and manga and anime, so... Something like Mob Psycho was perfect for me. Um, so, yeah. Mob, obviously, he has to be at A as well. Because uh, he can literally just destroy everything <laughs> whenever he wants, basically. Um, especially when he, when he reaches a uh, question mark level. Um, I think it's fucking insane. So, Mob has to be at A tier. Um, he, he's just too, too strong to, uh, to be anything below A tier, I feel. I mean, maybe he could be B.5, but I, I really feel that A tier is where, where he belongs. Okay, this is the last time I'm doing this, I promise. One more character got added to the roster, and that is Tanjiro from um, Kimitsu no Yaiba, or Demon Slayer. Um, I don't know how I get half these characters. I guess it's just because it's been so long since I actually I got to watch them. Because I, I tend to not rewatch animes unless I'm like really in the mood and I'm feeling nostalgic about them. So they kind of slip my mind. But, you know, I just remembered uh, Demon Slayer, and I'm like, I gotta have Tanjiro in here. Um, so he's added. Uh, Aaron Yeager. Um, so, in his Titan form... Mm, he's still not great at fighting yet, even in his Titan form. At least from what I've seen. Because I watched the entirety of the show. Um, mm. So for Aaron. Counting Titan form. Uh, no, get out of the settings. Um, he'd have to be either a C or a D. 
I think Aaron's going to be our D here. Um, <clears throat> because I don't think he could beat either Jotaro or Deku. They're too fast. Um, so I'm going to put him a D. Um, Meliodas. Hmm. Huh. Meliodas is pretty strong, so I think I'm going to have to put Meliodas at a B, because um, I feel like he could definitely, he could definitely go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ichigo. Um, so yeah, I feel, I feel like if he uses full power, he could probably destroy Ichigo, <laughs> but, um, so yeah, I'm gonna put him in in B tier. Um. So. Okay, I think I'm gonna do a little bit of changing here. So, since I went with Light Yagami not being an actual fighter, he's a thinker. Yami kind of falls into that same category. So I'm gonna have to put Yami down there with Light. Not that I don't like them, again, they're two of my favorites, but because they don't have, like, strong fighting capabilities, I can't exactly put them up there. Uh, Saitama, he's gotta be A tier, you know, he kills everyone with literally one punch. <laughs> so, he can't be anything below A tier, he's gotta be highest tier always. Um... And last, we have Tanjiro. Um, Tanjiro? I don't think he's strong enough to be on B tier. I think Tanjiro is going to have to be on C tier with Jotaro and Deku. Um, because I don't think he could fight Ichigo or Meliodas. But, yeah, let me just look over this again. Yeah. I feel that those are some pretty reasonable rankings here. Tell me what you thought in the comments. How would you rank these specific characters? Um, tell me if I'm garbage <laughs> for putting certain people in certain places or not. Uh, it'll be fun to see what you guys think. But for now, this is the ranking that I think these people would be at but anyway guys thanks for watching if you liked it as always make sure to hit that like button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new content from the channel hit that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed and uh yeah i'll see you guys later